If you want to use voice meter banana with the controller, like the Go XLR Mini, and have a single or dual source of audio going into OBS, then stay tuned and I'll show you how to get it all set up. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Beatwalker again with another video. So I'm gonna to try to make this as quick as possible and as easy as possible to set this up. These are the settings that I've found to be the quickest and easy. So if you follow along, you'll be able to get set up and get going. So the first thing you wanna do is download Voice Meter Banana and the VB cable. So if you go here to Voice Meter Banana, Voice Meter Banana's website, you're gonna download this install pack here. And after you do that, you'll go to Virtual Audio Cable and you'll download this driver pack here. And I'll explain what all these do here in a second once we get them installed. All right, so once you've downloaded them, you're gonna to wanna to extract both of these into separate folders. So once you get it extracted, you wanna open up Voice Meter Pro Setup. Go ahead and run that, install it. It's pretty self-explanatory, so you won't have any issues there. And then once you open up VB cable, you want to either install the 64 or 32, depending on what you have. I have 64. What you want to do here is make sure you run as administrator because this is what's been recommended by the website. Once you install both of these, you're going to want to restart your computer so everything will show up. All right, so once you've restarted your machine, you're going to want to run Voice Meter Banana. The first thing you're going to do is go to your, you're going to want to right click on this volume icon here open sound settings and you're going to choose voice meter input as your output device you're going to also want to go to the sound control panel and make sure the playback device called voice meter input is set to default you don't want to change anything else even though other videos might recommend it. You can leave your input source as whatever it is now. So I have it on microphone. And you're going to close that out. And you're all set up for your settings on your computer besides Discord, which I'll get into later. So a really quick overview of the way Voice Meter runs and works is you're going to have three hardware inputs. So in this case, my mic any other hardware input like your game audio from an external source like Xbox, PlayStation, and another input such as Discord that runs through a virtual cable that we downloaded earlier. Okay, next part, you're gonna have your virtual inputs and outputs. So in this case, I have my desktop and then this out, this will act as an output to OBS. Over here, we have our hardware out, so this will be, so my A1 currently is to my speakers and A2 could be to another source like your headphones or if you're recording externally. I'm not sure, I don't really use these. So the main focus is hardware out going to speakers or headphones. And this last part is your master section. So this is all your audio gains for each one of these. And depending on where you want your sources to go, these will dial in the volume for each source coming in. I'm gonna explain this a little further. I'm just gonna give you an overview of what everything is. These A1s, A2s, A3s, B1s, B2s might get a little confusing, but I'm gonna to try to break it down uh, once I start explaining the setup for voice meter. Okay, so now we're gonna set up voice meter banana. So what you wanna do is set up your first hardware input. In this case, I'm using my mic. So what you'll want to do is select the WDM version of your microphone or whatever you want your hardware input to be. Uh, w WDM is the recommended, but you can also utilize MME. Just remember, if you change one of these, you'd want to change them ac across the board for the other sources to match. We'll select microphone there. All right, so the next one we're going to do is Discord. And Discord, what we want to select is the cable output. This is what I'm using as the cable output because it makes more sense to me. So just really quickly, once you select the cable output here, you'll want to go into Discord, go to voice and audio, and make sure your output device is set to cable input. You can close that out. All right, and then your next virtual input, you won't be able to select anything, but just know that this is your desktop audio. So desktop audio is going to be voice meter VAIO, which is 
your B1 audio. Now, remember that because that's going to be important because B1 is equivalent to your voice meter output. And this next virtual input is actually an output that's going to OBS and it's going to be called B2, which is voice meter aux. So just remember B1, B2. And I'll show you and I'll tell you why that's important. All right, so once you have that set up, for the most part, the setup is done. I'm just going to now show you the routing and how to route each source and where the volumes are going to go to. So your microphone, you typically will only want this to go into OBS or any other recording source you're going to want. So we have B1 as our source going into OBS. And we also have B2, but I want them separate, so I'm choosing B1 here. But if you wanted to combine the mic with all the other audio, you would select B2. Okay, so just keep in mind, if, if you want them separate, choose B1. If you want it together, choose B2. And make sure you're monoing this because uh, microphones are typically mono, so you want to select mono. Make sure the bo both bars are showing here. So your Discord, you're typically going to want to have you hearing it, which is A1, which if you remember, A1 was our speakers or headphones. And then you also want the stream to hear it. So in this case, B2 will be selected. So both of these are being selected. Okay. Same thing for your desktop. You typically want to be able to hear your desktop audio and have it sent to Discord. Okay. So I'm just going to really quick explain the master selection and what you'll be using. The main audio is your main audio that's going to go to your headphones. So for example, I'll just play this here. And if I raise the desktop volume, you should hear the main audio here. And then if I lower this down, now you're still going to hear it in Discord because I have it set up that way. But if I lower it, you'll no longer be able to hear it because it's set to B2 in Discord. Remember, this is B2, B1, and they're shown right here. Okay, so if I turn it back up, now you should be able to hear it. And then if I turn this up, I'll be able to also hear it in my headphones. If you didn't quite get that, just kind of rewind it really quickly and I'll go through it again. So. And then the last thing, you're not going to want to select anything here on OBS because this is actually an output to OBS and I wouldn't mess with the volume here either. I just kind of keep that as zero. I don't even have any sliders on it. So it kind of just stays at zero and that's what works for me. All right. So the last part is going to be setting up OBS so you'll be able to hear whatever sources you set up in voice meter into OBS. So I already have the audio input set up, but what you're going to do is go to your sources here, add in a audio input capture. So if you add an audio input capture, you're going to get a screen that looks like this properties. So remember if you had, oops, so remember, if you had your mic set up separately, B1, B2, the B1 is going to be your voice meter output. If you wanted your mic to be combined with everything else, you wanted to select voice meter aux output. But if you did that, make sure that you're selecting B2 here, otherwise you won't be able to hear it, okay? And then your next source, will also be another audio input capture. But if, instead of selecting just voice meter output, you're going to select voice meter aux output, which is your B2 selection. So now you should be all set up to where your mic is going into one source and then your other audio. Uh, let me just open up Discord. your other audio test test is going into B2. 
Now the last part of this is obviously the controller, which if you want to use, which I highly recommend because it makes it so much easier to control, is you'll select menu here, go down to MIDI mapping, and I have it set up to where my faders are being utilized. Whatever number of fader it is you want to change, you'll select it and you'll hit learn. So once you hit learn, select the fader that you want and it'll learn that specific fader. Same thing goes for a mute button. I have the mute button underneath here. If you wanted to let it learn the mute button, you do mute or you do learn and it would learn the mute button as well. So yeah, that's pretty simple, self-explanatory. You can do it with all of these. It might take some figuring out to, to figure out which one goes where, but with some simple tests, you can pretty much decipher which one you'd want to utilize. And that is really it. You should be all set up. Again, if you miss something, kind of go back. I'm also going to provide a document with the steps and what each section means. So like, for example, voice meter output is B1, voice meter aux output is B2, stuff like that. I know it's a little bit tricky sometimes, but if you follow this exactly to the T, you should be set up and it's probably the easiest way that I've found to set it up for your stream so you have separate audio or audio all together. And some of the things you can do with this is very cool. Like I have an EQ set up for my mic, which you can do uh, as a reason why I have it separate. But yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, leave your questions in the comments. I'll be sure to get back to you. Or if you wanted me to explain something a little bit further, I can do that. No problem. But yeah, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Next time.